Hello and welcome. In this quick tutorial, I'll walk you through our typical troubleshooting exercise using OnCommand Insights 7.0 features. Today we'll take an example where I received an alert generated from OnCommand Insight reporting a latency concern. The user quickly comes over to the web UI, types the name of the particular VM in trouble. This example is our VM Exchange server, so we're seeing some slowness in our uh, email servers here. So Typing the name of the server in the search menu here brings up a listing of the uh, VMs in my environment with a similar name. I quickly click the VM Exchange server example here. And in the summary pane window on the left hand side, I can see quickly indicated by a red dot here that we have 53 milliseconds of latency with a max latency of 450 milliseconds. The summary vein provides us the power state, the guest operating system information, as well as some of the other capacity details. On the right hand side, the topology quickly shows me the end-to-end -end service path from VM to host through the fabric down to storage. I can quickly drill into any one of these objects as well. Down below that is my hypervisor information, the, the ESX that's hosting this VM, the IP address as well as some other information. Down below is our performance expert view where you can see we have latency, IOPS, throughput, CPU, memory and IP throughput. Below on this trended histogram, I can see the actual performance characteristics over a period of time. I have currently selected 24 hour time span, but I could easily select 3 hours, 3 days, 7 days, etc. Below that, we have our performance metrics or roll ups here, where we can see VMDKs as well as ports and violations. What I'm going to concentrate on today is the resource analysis view over on the right hand side. Resources indicate that I'm currently looking at this, this VM Exchange server, and with the checkbox here, I can quickly lay out the actual performance information here. I can also select the correlated resources, and what correlated resources are looking at is anything that's physically or logically connected to this virtual machine that could be causing impact. I can see here that we do have a correlation, and its rating or ranking is 93%. By selecting the 93%, it'll bring up a window and show me what the actual analysis is. So what this is telling me here is that the VM exchange latency is 93% correlated to the latency seen on this volume. How do I know it's a volume? Well, quickly hovering over this icon will show that it is a volume. Now, one of the features in OnCommand Insight is I can actually overlay these performance characteristics by quickly selecting this button here and you can see now that I'm able to compare and contrast the actual performance metrics and sure enough I can see that this volume is also experiencing latency at the same time. Selecting the little T here next to the checkbox will allow me to do uh, break down the performance metrics based on total read or write. So let's go a little further and see what's going on with this particular volume. So by selecting the volume we'll bring up the volume landing page. Sure enough, we see that the volume is also experiencing latency of 41 milliseconds with a 314 millisecond maximum. On the right hand side, we're going to concentrate again on the analysis view here, and we can see that we now have indications that a node is being involved. We just came from this VM here, and this, the next highest ranked uh, asset is the, the actual storage node, and that is ranked at 84%. So we can see that the latency on this volume is 84% correlated to the utilization of this node. So this node is working quite hard uh, to be able to provide this and it's causing some latency. If I select the node checkbox here, we can look at the node characteristics overlaid on top of this volume and we can see yes this latency is there. We can also see that the IOPS have jumped up around that same time as well as a steady increase in node utilization over time. And now this is one thing really to, to get an idea and be able to understand what's changing in my environment. I can see that I'm hitting 74% node utilization here and you know we want to investigate this further. Now a lot of products will stop right here, right? You can understand it's a storage problem, but let's take it a little further and see if we can identify what is actually causing the problem. So I'm going to select this node here and we can look here and we can see the latency and all the characteristics of the node, the supporting storage system, the state of the uh, the node itself, as well as the performance details we saw on the previous page. 
looking at my correlation analysis over here, I can see that we have now an internal volume indicated as our top correlated resource. That for uh, Netta folks is your flex vols. So I'm going to select the 91% here and I can see that the utilization on this node is 91% correlated to the IOPS being seen on this internal volume or flex vol. Again, I could select this and overlay the performance characteristics and that's almost a perfect match here, right? I can see the IOPS going up here almost a exactly the same time as this node utilizations uh, metrics are kicking up. So I'm going to dive into this internal volume here. Look, and I can see that indicated in the red dot, again, these are performance counters that we can set in on-command insight. And I can see that we have IOPS of 1,112 IOs. All right, when I look at my correlation analysis on the right-hand side, I see that we have a storage pool or an aggregate in NetApp terms being indicated, 83%. Again, the IOPS here on this actual internal volume is 83% correlated to the utilization or how busy this aggregate or storage pool is working. I'm going to quickly jump into the storage pool, see if we can indicate what is driving all of this utilization. Now we have a new volume. Now for those that didn't pick up on us earlier, there was SP2, now we're looking at SP1, right? So a different volume and we can see that we have an 84% correlation. The utilization of that particular storage pool is related specifically to the IOP demand of this other volume. So we have another volume sitting in our storage pool or aggregate that is actually driving uh, this utilization. Let's take a look and see if we can identify what is actually attached to this volume. So I select the volume here and now we have a virtual machine indicated. This happens to be our VMCS Trav book application. I can see here that I have a direct correlation IOPS to IOPS, right? So that's pretty straightforward. And I can also select this here and look at the actual corresponding metrics. So I can see that for this particular VM, it's not really seeing any significant jump in latency, but its IOPS demands are coming up. And so with on Command Insights uh, terminology, we typically call this a bully uh, resource or a bully workload. It's demanding or generating a lot of demand and it's causing an impact to other devices or other assets. So let's take a look at this VM a little bit, right? So we have IOPS and latency currently selected. I'll select throughput, CPU, memory. We'll start with that. We also can do cache hits, partial read writes, etc. So looking across here, I can see sure enough, the IOPS have kicked up at that time. The throughput has exceed, you know, increased at that time. And now th this is a little concerning here. I'm seeing CPU at 100% and memory is now 100%. So what I would be doing next is basically reaching out to my virtualization team and see what's going on there. Maybe we have uh, some entitlements or some limits put on this particular VM that's causing it, or we may possibly have a application that's gone rogue. Uh, but nonetheless, I can tell quickly and um, pretty effortlessly that it is not currently a storage problem. It is actually a resource problem with this particular VM. Now, my next step for this would be correct the VM, you know, identify what the actual cause is that's happening on this VM, or maybe I need to move this to an additional uh, location and understand, you know, where I have some headroom available to move this workload. So this additional resource search menu down below is a great way to be able to take a look at what you have in your environment, whether it be like resources, so in the end-to-end -end service path or not. So my first case here is I'm going to look at other storage nodes that I have in my environment. Maybe I can move it to another node, but I need to understand do I have headroom? So I'm just simply going to type node in here and you can see the search window is bringing up a list of the nodes that I have and I'm going to select node 2 which is another node on that storage controller and I can see that we have very little uh, IOPS being uh, generated at this time and I can also look at the utilization for this node 2 at this time. So you can see we're at about 33 or 32 percent at that time. Maybe I want to bring up another node so I'm going to type in node again and let me bring in node 3 and take a look at that uh, performance detail for that node. And you can see it's roughly the same. Now, the beautiful thing about On Command Insight is that we are a heterogeneous product. And, you know, although I would like every one of your purchases to be a NetApp purchase, 
we understand that you may have a multi-vendor environment so the one beautiful thing I was mentioning is I can also look at my other storage assets here and understand do I have headroom on those other storage devices at that time all right so really really easy to do really quick to understand do I have headroom on other resources and I use this in a lot of my mitigation attempts uh, as well so I hope this was informative for you and uh, you know showing you some of the quick capabilities uh, that on command insight helps you with uh, when it comes to performance troubleshooting so I thank you again and have yourself a wonderful day